Hey, yo, we're back to wrap it out. Uh, this time we got Trusk, uh, Subtrusk. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, it's going okay. Uh, so we've loved your music for a while now. Uh, to be honest, there's some songs from you that not even on rap that are known. Some, uh, some like the rhymes joint that I think it was some collab, uh, but it was really unknown. Uh, but some of your shit goes viral. Why are you? Why do you think you're such uh, a fucking fluctuating rapper? Uh, I like to play around with a bunch of styles. So one thing about my music is that I make sure that no two tracks sound the same. Um, so particularly on rap pad, like there's a bunch of mine. Some are quite lo-fi, quant sample based and some are a lot more like fast paced almost chopper style um and so i like showing my versatility and people seem to appreciate like the differences i can show in each one of my tracks yeah to be honest i think you are one of uh, you are one of the most underrated rappers on rap ad like for real though you have uh, an, an approach to a song and then a completely different approach and you basically still stay relevant like when a song of yours comes out it comes out like you get 40 props and you don't even advertise it too much you know uh and that's that's a fucking shitload of sh of um props and views and well people that still look up to you like you've got people like me musically and a lot of the rap ad community that just likes you yeah, I tend to come out the blue, uh, drop a track, and then I don't advertise it very much. I think I definitely could do with more like advertising it around. I tend to like I tend to feel a bit bad about it sometimes when like I'm just spamming these people who don't necessarily know me that hey, here's my new music. Um, yeah, so I but whenever I do it, it always gets a really good reception. I always get absolutely loads of feedback. I think every single one of my tracks is like nearly five stars in rating. Uh, most have 30, 40 plus props now. So yeah, it's really good. I don't even post all of them on Ratpad anymore as well. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's just it's just a really good approach you have on music. Basically, you've from that song Smile, you've just one aided with your newer songs like uh, fucking belong here you know because on one yeah. song you were trying to just be positive and shit and on others you just stay your shit like you don't take shit from people and you actually like what you're doing which is something you have to look up to these days since most uh, since some people i'm not gonna say most people since some people are here just for the money or the shit that comes out of it and coming from an investment to nothing i know it's a hard road but in the end you just keep doing it and that's a role model for all of us yeah i totally love it uh i've been on rap pad for like six years now um so maybe five years so i'm definitely one of the early people on rap pad uh, and i've been rapping for longer than that maybe eight or nine years now so almost approaching a decade and i just love every minute of it uh i make so many tracks as well so i would say for every song i put out on youtube or turns up on rap pad i make at least four or five or maybe even six songs which never get released because i don't think they're good enough um so it's like every pretty much every day i'm recording music or, or like producing a track almost every day most at least once a week once every two weeks i'll have a complete track done and whether i decide to make a music video for it or not is like a different story but i'm always making music that's that's just insane like you make me seem such a youngin like i've been on rap app for six months you've been here since march 1st 20 you just make me seem like i'm so new to this and to be honest i've not spent too much time making music per se i've just been battling in matter of fact i'm gonna have a battle up today in like an hour make sure you uh when you do send it to me i'll definitely check it out uh yeah it's actually a it's not a rap ad battle it's on byob oh. it's on the byob oh, okay, yeah. oh yeah I, i'll check that as well um i was invited to the discord i'm not so much a battler myself i tend to i really like having a really like nice community and everyone i talk to like is very wholesome um and often i i battled when i started i battled a little bit when i started um and did quite well i've removed most of them now um but then if and I, even people i was having friendly battles with they would 
come back at me like in a later track drop and so the people who i fought like i was chill with after a battle then they would come back and like diss me again and again like it's outside the battle now so since that point i've kind of stopped battling i've stopped dissing i'd much rather like because all the people even people i was battling they're all like so good and i'd much rather like actually respect them and have like their respect back and so to go forward with like collabs and so that's my way now of like working with people and expanding the scene is yeah i want to stay out of beef generally yeah i know what you mean but in my opinion beef is an essential part of rap at, at least for the people that just began like me without a beef when i began would have not been a good thing like if I didn't have my beefs, if I didn't get into battling, right now I'd be bad. And I mean bad. It sharpens pen. What? It sharpens your pen, doesn't it? It's like... It really off- does. I think it's really important to have beefs at first because it's more of a learning experience than something bad. Even if you lose, even if you get bodied by somebody dissing you afterwards, I still think it's a learning experience and that's really important. Like, Think of it this way. I have tracks, and they're still up. Like you can look at my rap ad account, my first ever fucking tracks, and you're gonna cringe out like very much. They're very bad. The thing is, when I started battling, I just got in touch with people like Psycho Puppet, people like that, and I showed them my new bars. And every time I showed them, I was so proud of myself. Like, I would look and uh, I would be like, oh, my God, I've gotten so good since last time. And it was true. Like, I I would have gotten better. But then two days after, I look over and I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, and because I I had written better bars because like, I was just yeah. motivated. Totally agree. It's like it's such a good feeling when every single thing you make is better than the last. And if you can just keep on that, like those 1% improvements every day, then at the end of it, you'll be absolutely mind numbingly different. My first track was so bad. Um, It was self produced. I was sampling I Need a Dollar. Um, I don't know if you saw like the piano riff at the beginning. And I sampled that and I put a drum beat over it, which didn't fit at all it was almost a completely wrong tempo and then i attempted to rap over it into it was a sing style microphone was the first microphone i ever used um one of those like karaoke microphones and it came out so bad and listening to it now it's so cringy but equally i loved it when i first made it i thought like this was the shit i like showed so many people and all of my friends were like yeah well done and it was like obviously through gritted teeth and it was awful but now like every single track from that point is is completely different and it's my own thing but each one you can point at a thing like wow this is better than last time wow this is better than last time and if i can just keep doing that that'd be amazing yeah i've been trying to variate too between what i do like i have projects upcoming just because i'm not that active it doesn't mean i'm completely inactive but the thing is i'm really busy uh not necessarily only because of school but uh i'm not gonna get into this i just work a lot i have basically like four hours a day to three closer to three hours but maybe four in some days uh and i just like battling the thing is i've liked battling only because when i very the first time i started like one week into rap ad i would have and because my music was so bad and it was only a riddance um i would have people come to my wall and talk shit and most of them I didn't battle because they didn't want to. But one time yeah. I'm battling somebody, he's pretty unknown. You may not know him, Atlantean. Um, I've heard of him, but yeah. <laughs> you've heard of him. It's a very, he's so unknown. Like he is mad unpopular, you know? Yeah. Uh, and uh, we've been, ba- we battled and I won by 40 something votes. And Jeez, that was <laughs> that was a boost for me, a confidence boost. But I think it was a bad one. Like I think it was detrimental to me, because then I battled people. I still won. Like to this day, I'm unbeaten. But the f- the thing is, uh, the point of coming from that Atlantean battle to where I am now is because I've battled good people like Jack Technique, and I've gotten good feedback from people like Psycho Puppet. Another question yeah. I meant to ask you: uh, Why are you, why are you so unactive uh, on inactive on the forums? Like I never see your name there. Oh, okay. So it's a good point. Uh, I think 
So bear in mind, I've been on Ratpad for a very long time now. Um, yeah. And also I've got a full-time job as well. So I work uh, like nine till six, gone six every day. Um, and so a lot of during the day, I can't access the forums. Um, but I used to be very active on it. Ratpad's interesting because I'm sure you've seen quite recently that it's got very political quite a lot. Um, and so I'd happily jump on it when like I see a homie and he drops a track and then I'll write something cool or I post a new track and like when placebo drops a track I'm like yeah this is sick man and I also sorry I also focus on like giving feedback a lot so if someone gives me a feedback request I try really hard to give actually like detailed feedback about what I like and what I don't like so often you'll see me at the basis of songs with like a paragraph long feedbacks uh two paragraphs but in the forums itself I found that I I don't want to get involved in the ones about politics or the ones about Trump. Not necessarily because I disagree with what anyone's saying, but also because it's like, I would like to be remembered for my music. Uh, and so if someone's talking about like, which favorite album is their favorite, I'll definitely be in there. I'll be like, oh yeah, I love this one. This is my favorite artist, etc." cetera. Uh, but the moment it drifts away from the music is what I'm trying to focus on generally. Then that's when it's like, do I want to be part of this? As they can very quickly become derailed a lot of the conversations as well um and i'm like i'll happily be there talking about music but the moment it turns away from that i'm not sure i want to continue yeah tell me about it the thing is i actually love doing that i actually love commenting yeah. on those type of threads uh because i battle rap and i actually try to bait people that way into battling <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's yeah that's a really good point like you can properly eke out some people's emotions there and like know what yeah. to get them with your next battle uh, I don't think rap bad has necessarily turned polit political. I think it turned controversial, like really badly. Yeah. And I don't think that's because of something someone said. I think it's the whole community uh, actually putting in a bit of effort because people actually blame it on the thread makers. But if there were no people that would comment on those threads, then that person wouldn't post them. So I don't yeah. think it's only certain people that do that. I actually think it's the whole community uh, putting in a little bit of effort. Yeah, I completely agree. Because often you get some really good threads going anyway. And so you've got a really interesting thread. Um, and then you randomly get one guy coming in just saying nothing, like nothing particularly interesting, just insulting the guy or whoever posted it and it's just like oh you suck and then the next response to that will be i don't suck you suck and now you've got a whole like argument at the bottom of this originally interesting thread like just essentially throwing insults back and forth and i'm like yeah cool it's a rap and it's a battle platform um but yeah so it's definitely not the thread creators who always do it there's always like just one person who steps in and kind of like intentionally stirs it a little bit yeah i'm sometimes as, i'm sometimes that guy yeah <laughs> uh <laughs> I am, I'm not even fucking bothered to not admit it. I'm not j just even going to deny. But the thing is, sometimes it's entertaining to see people get angry, and I actually do that for fun. I, it's uh, so yeah. fucking immature. It's so fucking immature. <laughs> like, I'm going to turn 15 in a month, and I'm so, so immature with this shit. But I don't think it really matters. No, uh, that, at a certain point, it's it, that's fine. I'm on at, a, at a point, it's just a forum on a fucking website, so yeah yeah um how did you discover the podcast and did you see did you have a chance to see any other videos and if so did you like them uh how did i discover the podcast um i actually discovered the podcast because musically sent it to me if i'm honest uh, that was the first time i saw it um he sent it to me and i just listened to all of them uh, i think yeah i've listened to at least three of them although a fourth one's just been posted uh and I think it's really interesting. Uh, I like, I really like listening to other rappers and how they think and what they like as well. Uh, particularly in, particularly on RapPad as well, because that's a website where I spend a lot of my time um, and have spent a lot of my time over the last number of years. And so it's really cool to like hear about it and also the people coming up as well. Um, I say coming up like I'm massive, but I mean like because I'm coming up and I like always like being around people who have similar motivations and just being part of that community. So I really like it. Yeah, you're just a very nice uh, person. But the thing is, we made this podcast especially for that. Like we made this podcast just to show people how uh, bigger, bigger rappers started. Um, and you're one of the people on Rapid that kind of made it like 
you wanted uh, better people on rapid if i would judge by top half and bottom half you would be in the top of the top half oh thanks man i would love i would love what would be the best for me and probably great for this podcast is like if one of the people you feature on the podcast like five years later comes back and they're like actually full-time professional like millions of views and they come back and be like yeah this is where i started i think that would make this podcast absolutely so valuable down the line like imagine if you had like it's cliched right it's cliched but imagine if you had like literally the next m&m and then you'd get hundreds and millions of fans coming here to when it first started like five years ago in the future i think that's really worth it and i think it's a really interesting way to see how many people stick with it as well uh because yeah because that's the thing because i've been on i've been doing it so long now i've had so many people who have asked to collab with me or we have collab together and then just stopped rapping and it can be after one year or after three years and i'm still here like i'm still here plowing along and i'm like oh all my old homies they don't exist anymore so it's really nice to like be introduced to new people yeah i think that's really fair i think a really big part of de developing a new community and improving yourself is actually helping the people that will be next like i yeah, think exactly. if everyone i think if everyone on rap ad that actually made it would just stick to people like psycho puppet for example to give them feedback on lines to tell them how he would phrase that to tell them what they did wrong or what they can improve on i think it would just not only make rap ad way less toxic but it would make the whole site pop up more in the eyes of an outsider since those people would have friends and those friends would see hmm oh look that's cool i should join and it's not toxic anymore so why do i have to lose you know yeah yeah exactly as you said before uh you used to battle you used to battle yeah, not did. very much but a little bit do you ever think there's gonna be another trusk battle uh i i am definitely I, I kind of want one. I kind of want another Trusk battle. Um, I, I kind of love them. I With my friends around me, like in London, I do battle a little bit. So uh, they're like proper homies and I like write a whole bunch of diss raps. They tend to be really personal is the thing. Um, they tend to be really like absolutely brutal when I write them nowadays. And so if it's someone I don't know very well, so like say it's just a tournament matchup, then I don't feel like I can actually bring what I really want to bring to the table. I can make fairly generic disses. I can listen to a bunch of their songs and then like pick apart certain things about what I don't like about them and what to attack them and things they talk about um, as I probably like focus on my lyrics nowadays. But if I, if I knew, if I knew someone, if I knew someone really well and he, I think it, it has to be someone match up with someone else just for the sake of it. I'll be like, oh, this guy is like, but I don't want it just to be a random person. This is our supposed to be brutal, so I, I usually something else. But you actually have a full Balor's mentality, and that's more fair than I could ever imagine. Like the more brutal, the better, right? Yeah. It's like that's the point of the battle. You want to demolish him. Yeah, you actually have really, really cool mentality for this. So, do you have any upcoming projects? Uh, I'm always working. Um, so I always have loads. The I've got a few collabs coming out quite shortly, uh, which I'm pretty hyped about. So there's a uh, server cipher coming out, which had uh, Pabloka on it. It had Rowan on it. Osmosis is like producing it. Absolutely loads of people, uh, which in my opinion are like the best people on Ratpad. They're all in this cipher, which is absolutely great. It's got CJ on it. Um, and so I've got a verse in that. and. Now, this might be egotistical, but one thing which I think is really great about this cipher is I think this is probably the first track I've made where I don't think I've been the best person on it. Um, and so and so often, like, and like that's the point, right? You come to a track and you want to absolutely, you want to renegade them, you know, like Eminem and Jay-Z on Renegade. You want to be the best person on the track by such a mile that everyone listens to the track and think, wow, this guy was amazing. Um, which I think I have done before. I think I have done quite recently, actually. But 
in this one, there's so many great people on it. I put my track in. I put my verse in. And I think my verse is good. Uh, but it's just everyone else's verse is also amazing. And I'm like, how? <laughs> like, and I'm not against that at all. It's like it's one actual track where I listen to it the whole way through. I've just haven't hasn't been put together fully yet. But I like listen to everyone's verses I've heard, and I'm like, wow, these are all amazing. And like, I'm slightly worried that my verse is going to be a bit lost in all these amazing verses. So that one, I'm really hyped for when that comes out. That's going to have a music video as well. So there'll be all eight of us in a music video. Oh my drop. god, that's going to be incredible. Uh, yeah, so, I'm so hyped for it. Right off the bat, right when you joined voice chat, I could notice your fucking microphone quality. That shit's insane. What do you use to record? What's your fucking secret? Uh, so this is a Rhodes microphone. Um, I actually have completely forgot the specific model of it. It's a Rhodes condenser microphone, which goes to an XLR cable. So it's not a USB mic. Um, my room, I have put up a bunch of sound panels as well. So a few years ago, I built myself a sound booth, um, which means like essentially just, I went to home base, bought a bunch of wood, did some carpentry, put up sound panels in it. Um, so that's where a lot of my recording is done nowadays. And it goes through a Focusrite Scarlet uh, audio interface as well. That's that's just incredible. You you pulled a mask. You basically bought your components and made yourself a boot. That's just yeah, mate. It, that's just really cool of you. What did you want to say? I caught you up. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. I was just gonna say it was actually really cheap. Um, so the whole all all the components cost like forty quid in total. Um, Ooh. which which I did when I was like, I did when I was a student and it was actually so cheap. It was just like, because there's pieces of wood, the most expensive bit was the sound panels. Um, and even those were absolutely fine. I bought them off Amazon. And it made like, if you listen to my recordings before and after, this was a couple of years ago now, it like night and day changed it. They used to sound quite echoey and the mixing was quite hard to do. But now it's basically, when I mix a song, it's very simple. It's, I record it. I put a little bit of compression on, a little bit of saturation on, a little bit of reverb, and it sounds fine. Whereas previously, I had to like properly like struggle with complicated EQs to even make it sound vaguely professional. Yeah, I mean that's actually really fair. You you're blowing my mind right now. Like this is actually pretty insane. The thing that actually got me most baffled. Did you say Amazon in Britain? Yeah. Yeah, I think the fucking delivery cost was more than the actual prices. Amazon, really? For me, it's free. For All you, the delivery. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that should feel good. Yeah, it really does. Uh, yeah, it's all free. Um, mm. Yeah, Amazon, particularly where I am right now, is like everyone just constantly buys things from Amazon. It's not even worth buying anything from anywhere else. It's it's free deliveries. It's often cheaper, and also like all of like online competitions and stuff permanently give out free amazon vouchers and so there's a lot of times where I just like oh i've just got a hundred quid amazon voucher and so i'll just spend it mm. actually i recently literally today a launch pad turned up um do you know what one do you know uh, you know what a midi launch pad is yeah yeah so one of those turned up today which i'm going to be so excited to do and that was essentially a prize i won um so Definitely, and that was off Amazon, so that'll be a lot of producing coming up. Yeah, here Amazon deliveries cost about fifty dollars. Not even joking. Jesus Christ, really? Yeah. Where do you live? I'm basically at the edge of Europe. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, no, that's dreadful. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, <laughs> we've talked so much about the toxicity of Rapid and how it went to shit, uh, pretty much, but. What do you think it did to you? How? What do you think it did to affect you both in your music and in your real life or basically just in general? Honestly, I can't praise it enough, if I'm honest. It was when I first started rapping, it was very lonely um, and I was very angry too. I, uh, so for me, rap was an escape. I was unhappy and I was angry. And so a lot of my early raps really showed that they were quite emotional they're quite depressing they were and like they were quite aggressive too um and so me producing this music and then i showed it to my friends and no one seemed to care um because it's like because <laughs> particularly when i started because it's just not great if i'm honest a novice rapper producing music about how he doesn't like life is not amazing to listen to um 
and also my friends don't listen to rap so they don't really get it and then i found rap pad and i started posting on rap pad and i started listening to other people who felt the same way and i started getting much more involved in the community and it massively changed my perspective and so i suddenly had people who was messaging me and saying i was great uh and there's people who i was like oh wow these people feel the same as me these people are like me uh it felt amazing and it super drove me on to continue one of the first tracks i properly recorded so the first track i publicly posted now was for uh rap pad cypher back in the day um and i came second on that i think so i didn't win a prize uh it was like one of the first cyphers they ever did and i came second um and then that was like wow this is amazing um people actually like what i'm doing people want to continue what i'm doing um and the same and even then i was doing like weird concept songs so my recent song breach i don't know if you've heard it it's one of my ones on spotify is about an astronaut that was based off one of my very earliest tracks rocket ship which i entered for a cypher as well and so all these things have really helped me refine myself and keep me motivated and the, some of the people I've met have been actual friends and some of the people I've collabed with have been actual friends now, um, which I'd like to stay in contact with even if they stop rapping. Yeah, that's actually really cool to make connections with people that, uh, to make connections with people, basically make people friends of yours. Uh, that's actually a really cool thing to do, both because you've kind of popped up, like you're not getting uh, frowned upon. You're one of the rappers that actually you can say they made it or you can say they're at the top. Like this is not something just said because I want to like do something uh, like flatter you. But the thing is, I think you'd be better than Roan. Now, that's controversial, but it's my opinion. Bold statement there. Bold statement. <laughs> I'll that's take it. I'll take my it. opinion. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm flattered. Roan is actually great. I love Roan. He's um, and really he's great. Got so many plays. He's got so he's like he's got. I think he's yeah he's got tens of thousands of plays on his Spotify. He is definitely very professional. He's my he's third. Great. And he's recently. Got, he's my oh, third. Sorry, what's favorite. that? He's my third. Do you want to favorite. list your favorites? Do you want to list your favorites? Go on, let's go there. Let's go. So my favorite rapper on Rap Bad is Plazebo. The second he's one. Dope. Yep. The second one is you, and the third one is Roan. I could go yeah. on. The fourth one is Psycho Puppet. The fifth one is actually the fifth one is the. Um, they're more seasonal, but I would say a collab between Lord Omega and BX uh, BX Lie is was that thing was fucking popping. So I think I would yeah. place both of them on number five. And going down from number five, I would say. <laughs> I like to actually experience what people have to say, like newer rappers. So I would say number six is uh, um, Pablo Ray. Pablo Ray. Number yeah, pa yeah. Number seven would be CJ. Yep, dope. Uh, I'm thinking rap rap rappers, but I I try to think of the best for every pick. Number eight, uh, I would think Jack. Number eight, Jack is a solid pick. Yeah, he's solid. He's solid. Yeah, these are all good picks. These are all good picks. They're all great. Um, yeah, I agree. Pablo, Rowan, uh, CJ are definitely some of my top three. Of course, Placebo. Placebo is amazing. He's been going for ages as well. He's an OG. I remember him real back in the day. I've and heard, then I've heard his first track, and it's just not funny. Like, that is insane for a first track. Remember, the first track someone posts is not the first track they recorded. No, but either way, it's really is, good. The it's thing really good. is, it was one of his first tracks ever. It was was it five Jeez. years ago? It was from five or six years ago. Yeah, was mental. Yeah, he yeah, he's really good. He's got a really uh placebo. He's got a really Watsky esque vibe, and his like his flow is like so smooth, and what he talks about is like genuinely deep for the most part. I'm much like when he stays on like the deep and like introspective things with like the smooth flow then that's that's him at his height he it's do, so good he can do anything on the track by that i mean basically yeah. he can go from talking about uh, life something deep something that would actually be something you would think about for the next day like hmm to something that's not necessarily stupid but just so actually aggressive like not necessarily aggressive, but 
both controversial but not controversial at the same time. It's a weird subject to talk about because placebo gets uh, so many angles on the same song that you can yeah, actually totally process all of them at the same time. He's really yeah. good. Placebo, if you're listening to this, I'd love to collab. Just saying, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Rapbat.com slash user slash trusk. Check him out. Uh, oh he has yeah we uh we subscribe to each other he like we like have each other on instagram um yeah so we're pretty close -ish. yeah <laughs> since we're, we're pretty close to the end of the podcast would you have anything to wrap out to us uh just so we can say that massive trust uh, actually wrapped on our podcast uh yeah yeah go on um yeah so i'll play a beat through my headphones right okay Okay, uh, oh, I just bashed my mic, sorry. Should I just go when I'm ready? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Trusk. Shit, as a kid, moved every six months, was pissed at my script, so I went and missed punks and nicked up skip and forever missed lunch, wrote the writ like a nick, but I'm always disfunct, like you wanna get jumped, bro, you wanna get jumped, so you whip it as my whip, get it stuck in my trunk, though, gun ho, run, no, total fucking messed that, yeah, you fucking messed up, now it's pretty fun, though, oh, you really wanna go, no, you wanna feel at home, no, cause you'll never be safe when you're stuck in a place and you're all by your own, oh, and you're going alone, oh, they'll be tapping your phone, oh, you'll be tapping your feet in the dance of the street, then you're snapping a bone, now you better wish that you never even did that, word of a street is like a bit of chit chat hurting to see that you really want to kick catch right hand man just went and got his wrist snap write that down you wouldn't want to miss that got no whip yet still get the whiplash just one sound and you're gonna make me hit that cause i'm gonna flip that need a bit of quick cash oh gonna need a lip balm flames that i'm spitting are gonna make it split hard oh gonna need a pick on my dames and my chicks are gonna make your dick hard oh really gonna kiss us hate that you're missing because t gets the big parts oh never gonna discard make on a wish because here is a brand new flow oh where'd the music go oh like that you would know low hardly suit will pharmaceuticals roll slow go low go slow they're in the youth and they're using it i'd let you choose they ain't choosing it like blues clues ain't losing it jesus that flow at some point i was just considering to turn on my mic because it's not like i'm not reacting like i i have an external button on my mic that just turns it off at some point yeah. just for the purpose to scream in it i was gonna turn it on that flow uh close to the middle of it was insane not necessarily because it was fast i can rap fast too but the thing is the way you pronounce the words to the end you just made it sound so incredible and it was an acapella like for the people that listen to this they won't know it was an acapella because i'm gonna edit a beat over you but the thing is that was incredible for me with an acapella thanks man thanks so yeah, I like that one. So that since we're written one. since we're at the end of the podcast, would you like to plug something? Would you like to shout out somebody? Oh yeah, okay. So uh definitely plug my socials. So a big one for me is I'm trying to grow my YouTube as much as possible. Uh so if you're not subscribed to my YouTube, please do. That's where I'm dropping all my tracks. That is where I am making sure loads of music videos are coming soon as I love making them. So th that's my YouTube, which is just trusk. Just T R U S C Trusk is my YouTube. And I've got my Instagram as well, official.trusk. Uh, if you want to subscribe for like behind the scenes clips and collabs and stuff coming out as well. Shout out to my fam. <laughs> yeah. That that was a really cool time to have you here. Uh make sure to check him out everywhere. Um goodbye for this episode and we hope to have you at a later date again yeah thanks for having me this has been great fun thanks all right bye